Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and I hope you all are having an amazing day. For today's video, I'm going to be showing you all the apps that I use to edit my pictures and how I get it done and what all is the process, how is it done. So if you're interested, then please continue watching. that I want to tell you is that I click and edit all of my pictures from my iPhone XR this is how it looks it's completely like the screen guard is gone and I click pictures from my G7X from which I am filming right now uh, all the pictures that are edited are done on my phone I it's just very handy and it's what I personally like so I'm going to show you two pictures of how I edit them and you know how is the entire process done so if you can see the first thing that I have is photo and video uh, folder the mostly used apps are Snapseed, Lightroom, Meitu and VSEO these four apps are mainly what I use to edit my pictures yeah or uh, the first uh, option that I'm going to show you is Snapseed let's say I take this picture so if you can see it's a very normal um, sun kissed picture um, there's not much in the picture but I want to enhance it a bit so I'm going to go in the tools I'm going to take the tune image option and firstly brighten the image by 20 so that the image looks a little more vibrant down and increase the ambience can you see the difference yeah and then I'm going to go in with details I'm going to reduce the structure by 8 or 10 and increase the sharpening so that the picture quality does not uh, fade in uh, when you open it on Instagram or you when you open it on your laptop the picture quality needs to be very very good so the, the, the more the image is sharpened the better the quality looks um, next I'm going to go in with temperature I'm going to increase the temperature by 10 can you see the difference I like the picture to be more like colorful and more pinky toned I like my pictures to be more on the pinkier side and the warmer side uh, now we're going to save a copy and now we're going to go in with Lightroom and we're going to go in with color there's this option right on the upper corner so I'm going to reduce the luminance by 10 so that the reds are a little popped up I'm going to go in with green and brighten the green so that the greenery behind is more visible from the blue and increase the blue if you can see there's an option called as hue hue is the tone difference between both the pictures so in this if I turn it to minus 100 it turns into a turquoise color but if I go to a plus 100 it turns into a purple color so those are like the shades of blue. I'm going to put it on the more purple side. So I'm going to increase there. Okay? And I'm going to increase the contrast a little bit. And decrease the shadows by 30. So it looks like very professional as of now. We're going to export this to the camera roll. Uh, pro this thing also. So I like the dramatic effect uh, for this picture. I'm going to go in and increase the exposure a little bit and decrease the contrast can you see how it looks looks really really nice and i'm going to increase the tint a little bit. so you can see that we completely transformed a picture which was very casual very like a normal roadside picture into something really professional and it looks really nice i'm going to put this like in a square so that it looks really like so yeah, this is how the picture looks. I'm going to put a before and I'm going to put an after and you all can see the difference. And if now let's go in and edit a selfie. There are like a little scars here and there. So when I upload something on Instagram, I like it to be very airbrushed and very like clean and nice. And that's how I like my pictures to be. So there's this option on the third row known as healing. You want to click that. You want to go in zoom in with the picture whenever you see wherever you see the acne marks you just remove it so yeah the acne marks are just out and now we're going to go in with the uh, fifth row which is uh, there's this option called as portrait we're going to click that 
there's this option called as face spotlight so if you can see the normal image this is how uh, the picture looks after it's done uh, i'm going to smoothen the skin so the picture looks really really nice i'm going to reduce the face spotlight because then the colors will not be that visible so and i'm going to save this then i'm going to go in with details i'm going to destructure it uh, i'm going to take it till 10 and i'm going to increase the sharpness so that there's more clarity and more uh, dimension to the picture and i'm going to save this copy uh, next up i'm going to directly go into my camera roll and go in with the same a dramatic filter can you see the difference it looks whoa i'm going to re reduce the contrast a little bit so that it gets up to 30 30 uh, i'm going to increase the brilliance a little bit brilliance basically works as ambience in a normal iphone and i'm going to uh, reduce the exposure because it's too bright since it's already very sun kissed then i'm going to go in with tint and pour a little bit of pinkiness to it so it becomes like that can you see the picture looks beautiful it looks so clean the eyes are so popped up because of the portrait effect and the skin skin looks perfect so yeah this is how i edit my pictures i hope this was of some help so yeah those are the effects and everything that i do to create the pictures that i upload uh, if you are from this video helpful then please give the thumbs up subscribe to my channel please hit the notification bell so you get updates every time i upload a video and leave down a comment if you like techniques that i use and thank you so much for watching